right, Black and White Network supporters. Well, we're going to talk about something that I kind of suspected just from the sheer fact that it took Barack Hussein Obama so long this week to actually come out and endorse Kamala Harris. Uh, You might be wondering, well, wouldn't Obama just love to have a candidate like her? Well, in fact, it seems no. And Joe Biden seems he pulled a a fast one on his uh, former buddy. We got to remember, Barack hadn't been a huge fan of Joe in a while. All right. Uh, Supposedly, uh, Obama did not necessarily want Joe in the 2020 election. He wanted somebody else. And this report has now come out by way of the Gateway Pundit saying, well, in fact, Obama didn't want Kamala Harris either. But Joe Biden gave a big F.U. to Barack Hussein Obama by running to endorse her as the the next candidate. They did, in fact, want this to go to some mini primary at the DNC. And Obama had a name in mind that is considered, I guess you would call more of a moderate, but is there such a thing, such an animal these days among liberals as a moderate? I guess maybe there is, but they might be an endangered species, and I don't know that this guy is the guy. So this is very interesting. As the Gateway Pundit reported, Biden dropped out of the presidential race on Sunday afternoon and later endorsed Harris as his replacement. Now, Barack was among the group of shady Democrats behind the scenes that were trying to get Biden pushed out, right? And uh, so the months-long effort by top Democrats, Barack Obama, Chuck Schumer, Bill Clinton, and Nancy Pelosi to force him out, now it turns out Biden may have outmaneuvered Obama after his boss played a role in the coup. And he said, if you screw me, I'm going to screw you back. Interesting. Biden was, eh, I guess he's a, sometimes, a you know, blind squirrel finds nut scenario. He actually got one back on Barack. The New York Post reported Friday that Obama told old Joe to let delegates at next month's Democratic National Convention in Chicago decide on a new candidate. Well, at least that would be more fair for the party that keeps bitching and moaning about losing democracy. They just pissed all over democracy. Uh, Let's be honest, right in front of our face. This caused Biden to quickly endorse Harris as a middle finger to the 44th president. Quote, it was Joe's big F you. A family source told the Post, Joe said, if I'm out, then I'm endorsing her. Wow. Wow. Joe truly knifing Obama and Pelosi in the back for making him stand down, a Democratic Party source added. According to the Post, Obama, former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer had wanted to hold a, quote, mini-primary to determine who the Democrats would appoint as a nominee. Obama had serious doubts about whether Harris could win the primary or general election. I think he's got a good reasons for that. But he had poten- a potentially formidable foe in mind from a critical swing state. The Post reported he wanted Arizona Democratic Senator Mark Kelly. Wow. Who had successfully portrayed himself as a centrist to be nominated at the convention to take on Trump In November, in case you're wondering, you're wanting a face to that, that's Mark Kelly right there. I mean, everybody kind of recognizes the guy, but in case you didn't know right off the bat, Senator Kelly is married to former Democratic Representative Gabby Giffords, who was shot in the head and nearly assassinated in a January 2011 outside of a Safeway grocery store in Casas Adobes, Arizona. I remember that. I do remember that. While Senator Kelly is perceived as a more, quote, moderate and, quote, electable candidate compared to Harris, he he's not as, as extreme as Harris. I mean, she's more left than I think Bernie Sanders at this point. Let's just say it. Kamala Harris is a member of the squad. Well, let's just put it out there, right? He is actually one of America's most foremost gun control activists. 
yeah, he wants guns out of there. And he wants to take your guns away, no doubt about it. Moreover, he supported abolishing the Senate filibuster to help implement a far-left policy wish list, including weakening election integrity laws. Uh, wow. I mean, these Democrats are wild. They don't want secure elections at all. Kelly won a special election in November 2020 to fill out the term of the late John McCain, defeating Republican Martha McSally. Two years later, he defeated Blake Masters and won a full six-year term. In addition to felling Ob foaling Obama and his convention scheme, Biden reportedly plans to take an active role in Harris's campaign. Is that good? <laughs> I mean, is that good? Question mark? Really? Mm, that, might, that might be a negative for her. A Washington insider told the Post that his he would be would allow him to hold leverage over Harris. Oh, that's interesting. Quote, it allows Biden to retain his leverage as much more experienced hand at national politics, which will be good for her, the insider claimed. It means her campaign won't be run by a bunch of insular advisors. Okay, well, I don't know how that helps her. I mean... There was a perception, and you want to talk about how this moderate centrist thing can blow right up in your face. Remember Biden was supposed to be more moderate? And at one time, I guess you could say he was, back in the 90s especially, and prior, and we all know his track record with race relations, uh, but he's a left-wing extremist now. And Kamala is worse than him. The funniest part about all this is the fact that he gave a double middle finger stone cold stunner to Barack Hussein Obama. So now we've got, what, a war between the Obamas and the Bidens? That's very interesting. I hate to break it to, to Joseph. If he hadn't have been in this strategic position long term, he's going to lose a battle with, with Barack I mean, the Obamas got have all that clout among the Democrats, and they think they're all rock stars. I'm still shocked it's not Michelle Obama. I really am. I think Kamala's about to get absolutely worked. Yeah, you're seeing a little fire and a little movement from the Democrats, and they feel like they're all fired up. Uh, check back in a week and see how that ends up turning out. Because... Uh, there's a lot of movement around the idea that Trump could win, let's say, every state but maybe three. That's in play? Seriously. California, Washington State, Oregon, you know, maybe Minnesota won't be in play, but every other state seems to be in play right now for Donald J. Trump. I do like to see the uh, rats trying to eat themselves to death getting off the Titanic. <laughs> Peace. I'm out. Till next time.